fifth metatarsal base avulsion fractures. These are common foot fractures, often caused by a twisting injury similar to an ankle sprain. I'm Dr. Steve Pinney, and in this video, we're gonna learn about this common fracture, its symptoms, and treatment. This fracture is known as a fifth metatarsal base avulsion fracture. It's also sometimes known as a pseudo-Jones fracture. This fracture occurs when the base of the bone on the outside of the foot is avulsed, which means it's partially pulled off by the attached tendon and soft tissue. This injury is fairly common in patients with weaker bone, especially older patients with osteoporosis. The symptoms include marked pain on the outside of the foot after an acute injury. Patients will usually be unable to weight bear or have difficulty weight bearing. X-rays of the foot will demonstrate the fracture and establish the diagnosis. The treatment, well, most fifth metatarsal base avulsion fractures can be treated conservatively without surgery. Only rarely are these fractures so displaced that surgery is required to reposition the bone and stabilize it. Recovery from this injury can be frustrating. There's no weight bearing or limited weight bearing in a boot or cast, and this is often required for five or six weeks. The full recovery can take months, often three or more before normal unrestricted activities can be resumed. For most people over the age of 50 who have suffered a fifth metatarsal base avulsion fracture, it would be advised to have their bone density checked, as this injury more commonly occurs with patients who have low bone density. In review, a fifth metatarsal base avulsion fracture is one that is relatively common foot injury, where a small chunk of bone is pulled off the base of the bone on the outside of the foot following a twisting injury. This fracture can be treated without surgery, although complete recovery can take many months. To learn more about fifth metatarsal base avulsion fractures, please click on the link below. Until next time, I'm Dr. Steve Penny.